गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द ऑटोमेशन सो लेट एस रिकॉल द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द ऑटोमेशन सी इट इज ए टेक्नोलॉजी विच कंसर्न विद द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ मैकेनिकल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक एंड कंप्यूटर बेस्ड सिस्टम्स टू ऑपरेट एंड कंट्रोल प्रोडक्शन इन ऑर्डर टू इम्प्रूव प्रोडक्शन द मेन गोल ऑफ द ऑटोमेशन इज दैट हाउ टू इम्प्रूव द प्रोडक्शन हाउ टू मिनिमाइज द कॉस्ट ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट so that we should give some benefit to the customer and uh, this thing is basically when there is a mass production in the industry automation always simplify the process so this is basically the concern of the automation and uh, since it consists of uh, basically some mechanical parts some electronic parts uh, chips devices and sensors and the basically it also involve the programming so the computer based system is to operate and control the production now it includes uh, automated machine tools automated assembly machines industrial robots automated uh, material handling and storage system yes storage system is also uh, automated because we have to control the inventory uh, whether it is related to a tool system material inventory or final product inventory so we have to uh, minimize the uh, delay time so therefore this is a very important here and the next is the automated inspection system for quality control see automated inspection is also done itself by the system and then feedback control and computer process control and uh, computer integrated system for planning and data collection decision making so there are some examples also that uh, in the industry automotive industries you will find out the automobile industries there were there are the process which is completely automated in electronic industries also there are some applications of the automation in aircraft manufacturing industries your medical also there are some uh, process which is completely automated with the help of robots so today uh, we will focus about the advantages or benefit of the automation very first benefit is the lowering the operating cost see this entire work is done with the help of robots so robots can perform the work of 3 to 5 people depending on the task in addition to saving on the cost of labor energy saving can also be significant due to the lowering uh, requirement in uh, automated operations so robots streamline processes and increase part accuracy which means uh, minimum uh, material waste for your operation so basically in the industry whatever process you adopted this process is entirely controlled by the robots so this uh, because of, since uh, we can minimize the number of interactive people with the system and the same manpower can be used for the higher skill uh work or task so therefore we can reduce the entire operating cost next is improved worker safety see worker is who is working with the in, in the industry this is very uh, important for any person that uh, we have to provide a proper safety uh, for the working uh, hazardous uh, working environment or sometimes the work is so tedious that uh, we have to uh, provide a proper safety for the worker so automated cells uh, remove workers from a dangerous task see you just think that your employee will think thank you for uh, safeguarding them against the hazards of factory environment next is reduce factory lead time what is this lead time see uh, this automation can keep your process in house and improve process control and significantly reduce lead time compared to outsourcing or uh, ongoing overseas see you know that when you plan the process it means when the one operation is confirmed then you have to go for the next operation and between these two operation if there is any uh, delay time between the process or between the you can say processing on the uh, machine then this uh, time is basically is included in the total production time so therefore 
we have to minimize this time so that we can improve the lead times. Next is faster ROI. ROI means the return of investment. The automation solutions are basically based on your unique needs and the goals and pay for themselves quickly due to the lowering operating cost, reduce lead times, increase output and more. So basically ultimately the benefit to the customer and benefit to the company is basically you can get the faster return of investment. Whatever uh, money you have invested in the production system and in the automation system, you will get uh, immediate uh, return. So this is a very important advantage of the automation. Next is ability to be more competitive. See automated cells allow you to decrease cycle times and uh, cost per piece while improving quality. Suppose if there is a high rate of rejection, then this will also create a, uh, you can say uh, it is a, uh, it will uh, cost per piece, the cost per piece will also increase. So the cycle time will increase if the rate of rejection is increases. So therefore, this will allows you to better complete on a global scale. And additionally, the flexibility of robots uh, enables you to control or retool a cell to exceed the capabilities of your competitions. So because the market is totally based on the competitor analysis and competition is there also. So we have to compete in the market for this. We have to uh, be more competitive. So therefore, in this case, we have to decrease the cycle time and the cost per piece. So that ultimate goal is we have to increase the production by selling the product in the market more and more. Next is increased production output. This is another advantage of the automation. See the robot has the ability to work at a constant speed, unattended 24 by 7. It means uh, you have got the potential to produce more. So new products can be more quickly introduced into the production processes and uh, new product programming can be done offline with no disruption to the existing process. So therefore, you can say that, see, robot can work in any environment without any tiring and uh, uh, any breakage or delay time or 24 by 7, a robot can work. So uh, there is no need to attend the robot, right? It can work at a constant speed. At a constant speed means without any delay, right? The speed is constant. You will see in the industry that the robots are doing the welding job and they are doing very precisely in that case. And uh, they uh, are doing this job timely so that you will get uh, the uh, production output is very high in this case. And the next is the consistent and uh, improved part production and quality. What is the meaning of this? Consistent means See, automated cells uh, typically perform the manufacturing processes with the less variability than human worker. And uh, this results uh, in greater control and consistency of product quality. You will find out the same product quality uh, over a period of time because this operation is consistent. Robot and any automated machine will perform its duty on the setup very precisely and accurately so that you will get the consistent operations. So therefore, the overall part production quality will also increase. Next is uh, a smaller environmental footprint. See, if there are less number of people who are working in the space or you can say that uh, there is less environmental footprints, this will also be uh, reduce the scrap by using less space and automation use less energy. So reducing your environmental footprint can save real money. It means the money will also save when there is a less uh, environmental footprint. The next is the better planning. See consistent production by robots allows a shop to reliable uh, predict timing and cost. That predictability uh, permits a tighter margin on most of any projects. 
see planning can be done in a better way when you use the automation because whatever process you have adopted you can re-plan this process and uh, then uh, you can go for the better because the previous uh, data is stored in the system and you can just replan and or you can program it and then you will get the final operations then next is reduce uh, need for outsourcing see you know that many companies are uh, giving their uh, small projects as uh, outsourcing to the other companies so automated cells have a large amount of potential capacity which is concentrated in one compact system so this also allows uh, shops to produce part in house that have previously been outsourced so this is the another advantage because the single machine can perform a different types of tasks for example if we take a cnc machine you are very much familiar to a cnc machine okay so uh, let us take an example of a CNC milling machine. So you can perform the milling operations or typical milling operations on a CNC machine uh, with the help of a uh, NC part programming and uh, you can just reprogram the same uh, uh, the similar uh, other type of operation can also perform on the same machines. Next is uh, optimal utilization of floor space yes see robots are designed on a compact basis uh, to fit in a confined space because robots will not move sometimes what happening there are three types of basically robots one is a uh, floor uh, uh, mounted robot second is a ceiling mounted robot and the third is the mobile robots so if we are talking about the fixed type of robot either on the base or on the ceiling it will cover a very confined space so in addition to being mounted on the floor the robots can be mounted on walls ceiling rail track and shelves and they can perform tasks in a confined space so it will save your valuable floor space because floor space is also a cost and you have to minimize this in the industry so the planning or the floor space is quite uh, important task for any um, manager or any uh, senior person of the company uh, who has who is planning uh, the plant layout you can say that he has to manage the entire floor space for the optimum then next is the easy integration easy integration means that productivity will work with you to provide a complete system it means the hardware software and its control and uh, your cell will be proven out to, at uh, productivity and ship production ready so allowing you to start making parts as soon as it installed uh, in your shop because since the entire uh, machine is completely it is uh, integrated so easy integration matlab ki you can just uh, uh, buy a automation system for a particular uh, you can say the process or which you are doing uh, normally with the help of a human interactions then this integration is quite simple because the system is not only the hardware it is also include as I told you that electronic system and your computer system and then you have to plan your cell so that uh, this cell will give you the productivity and uh, it will increase the productivity and uh, the entire thing is quite compact so that it can be easily installed in the space next is the maximize labor see uh, if we talking about uh, if we consider the statistics over a next uh, three decades uh, it will show that uh, more than 76 million baby boomers will retire and uh, only 46 million new workers will be available to replace them so during this time you your demand for the label will continue making automation a real and viable solution as i told you automation normally uh, people think that it is a negative sense because it will lead the unemployability actually this is not uh, happening in the industry because once you remove the labor who is doing a very tedious or repetitive task in the operations then this type of operation can be replaced with the help of automation 
or the robot can take uh, the role of this person and this same person can be utilized for a high skilled task so it will not lead the basically the unemployability it will decrease the unemployability the similar kind of people can be used for the managerial purpose or for the high skill programming purpose next is uh, increase productivity and efficiency see how this can be done because uh, as i told you that the 24 by 7 production can be achieved with the help of automation next is more uptime with the historic uh, efficiency figure about 90 percent then uh, secondary operations capability gauging washing debarring etc then uh, real-time factory communication with automated cells and machines then quick changeover for multiple parts tooling and programs see sometimes what happening the changing loading and unloading of the part as well as loading and unloading of the tool on the machine is also taking time so this can be easily done with the help of the ATC it means the automated tooling uh, devices which is working simultaneously on the machine and this can be easily programmed and can be done it means the loading on the tool on the machine and unloading of the tool on the machine can be easily done without any uh, delay next is uh, the flexible multi operations capability because uh, this also increase the productivity and efficiency when there is a flexible in the system as i told you that uh, there are lots of uh, operations uh, which could, can be done in the industry and uh, this uh, we it needed to provide a flexibility to change the operation when it is required next is the increase uh, system versatility see system versatility means uh, the system flexibility it can increase the uh, system versatility when easily retooled and repositioned for a new production system so since the robots are flexible and can be easily redeployed in a new applications suppose what happening sometimes there is a another type of operations or any other type of application comes then robot can be easily reprogrammed and these they are very much flexible to adopt the uh, process because if we talk about a human being sometimes what happening the human are not capable to adopt the new change in the industry but robots are quite simple and they can adopt uh, the uh, change in the uh, industry so robots have the ability to easily switch between a wide range of products without having to completely rebuild uh, production lines and uh, quick changeover with auto grippers and vision allows uh, for different part sizes and shapes to be part of the same run then the mixed flow production approaches uh, allows for a flexibility in adjusting to demand fluctuations and uh, another thing is uh, then uh, if we talk about how we can increase the system versatility robots are able to instantaneously learn new processes as i told you that if suppose if another kind of uh, process comes then robot has this versatility to adopt the new change then uh, reduce change over time as uh, change over time means suppose uh, what happening when we change the process we have to reprogram the tooling system we have to ro reprogram the process and this uh, process can be easily change over and can be uh, uh, the time which is taken to change over from one process to the another process is very less so this is further advantage of the automation now this is a very interesting slide where we will understand that what are the goals of automation what are the target of automation why we adopt an automation in the industry see this is not a simple uh, you can say that uh, simply a person can say that i want to adopt the automation in the industry he has to go for first the analysis a detailed uh, analysis that uh, whether he required the automation if the automation is not benefited for the company the company will not go for the automation 
So very first is the intricate various aspect of the manufacturing or operations. What is the meaning of this? <clears throat> See, there are lots of operations which are going on in the industry or manufacturing operations. We can integrate each and every operations in the industry so as to improve the product quality and uniformity, minimize cycle time and effort and thus reduce labor cost. So this is this can be easily done with the help of and you can say this is the first task of the automation that you have to first integrate the various uh, steps or aspect of the manufacturing automations or operations. Next is improve uh, productivity by reducing manufacturing cost through better control of production. See this basically uh, uh, you can say that the part are loaded, fed and unloaded on the machine more efficiently when uh, we use the automation. So this is the another task of the automation. This uh, can be easily done and then productivity can be improved. Next is improve uh, quality by employing more repetitive processes. You know that there are so many processes which are repetitive and people may get bored when he is doing a similar kind of task. You just think as an example, you have to just uh, move up and down on the stair uh, in a whole day, you will find out uh, that this job is so quite tedious for you and you will may go uh, get bored in this case. So therefore, uh, the quality will also improve uh, by employing uh, more repetitive processes in the automation. So this is another advantage of the automation and maybe you can say it is the first goal of the automation. If there are repetitive processes, then you have to adopt the automation. Then reduce workpiece damage caused by manual handling of the parts. Some, sometimes what happening, there are uh, delegates parts uh, like a glass uh, material which is used for the manufacturing of the parts and uh, some highly uh, you can say the polished machine parts and if the uh, parts are not uh, taken carefully handled then what happening there may be a damage and it will also uh, you can say the uh, heavy loss to the company so sometimes what happening the manual handling is not advisable in that cases so we can use the automation or robots can do this task very quite uh, you can say that it, it, it the robots can do this uh, very easily and uh, safety is another uh, you can say concern so therefore this is another goal of the automation the next is the raise the level of safety for personal especially under hazardous working conditions you know that uh, this um, is uh, another advantage of the automation and this is the goal of the automation also because a person who is working in the hazardous place uh, he may get injured or you can say accident may uh, be there if uh, he is working in a hazardous uh, place and the robot can work there easily and uh, you can say that sometimes what happening there are automated guided vehicles also they who can uh, move uh, uh, in the hazardous places or high temperature conditions, environmental conditions are not, uh, you can say, uh, advisable for uh, the person who is working in that case. So this can increase the high level of safety for a personal. Next is economize on floor space in the manufacturing plant by arranging the machines, material movement and related equipment more efficiently. See what happening, the person who is working for the planning of a plant, manufacturing plant, he has to economize the floor space and uh, he has to arrange the machine in a sequence such that the floor space should be minimized. Another thing is, see the another problem which is uh, in the industry comes then when the material, material move from one place to the another place or you can say the goods or the final product which is moving from the machine to the uh, inventory and then this can be easily uh, done with the help of this automation. So ultimate goal is to increase the productivity and minimize the floor space so that uh, equipment can work more efficiently. So these are the goals of automations.
Now, uh, here we have to discuss the different types of uh, automation systems. So in the industry, there are basically three types of automation systems which comes into pictures. The first is the fixed automation or hard automation. What is the meaning of fixed op op uh, automation? Let us consider that a robot who is working on the machine or any uh, fabrication process in the automobile industry. So if we take a example of a welding robot, you will find out its task is constant. Its working is constant, right? It's repetitive task. He has to weld a particular operation and this operation is done in a fixed uh, type of automation. So this is a, called as a hard automation or fixed automation. So we can say that the fixed automation is a system in which the sequence of processing is fixed by equipment configuration. So since the operations sequence are simple, then uh, higher initial investment of uh, custom equipment, higher production capacity can be achieved and uh, it is uh, inflexible to accommodate uh, product changes. So therefore, we can take the example of uh, automated material handling uh, transfer lines and assembly operations or assembly equipment. So this is a very simplest type of automation where the task is fixed and this can be done with the hard system or hard automation. There is a basically a wire type of system which is doing a uh, similar kind of things. Next is a programmable automation. See in production uh, equipment it is designed with the capability to change the sequence of operation to accommodate change of production design or product design. See, suppose what happening as I told you in the case of uh, if there is a need to change the product design then in the case of programmable opt automation this can be easily done. As compared to fixed automation, you cannot do this uh, thing in the case of fixed automation, but in programmable automation, you can easily done and then the operation of sequence is controlled by a program in form of coded instructions. So you know that in the case of CNC programming, you just write the codes and uh, the codes are in the form of some instructions, then machine will read these codes and perform its task or perform its operations. So this sequence can be controlled by a program. So uh, next is the for uh, producing new batch of new design product, the system can be reprogrammed. This is another advantage of the programming automation. Basically, uh, it has a high investment initially, but low production as compared to fixed automation. So flexibility to accommodate new design of product. This is another advantage. It is uh, more suitable for batch production. Batch production means in that there in the industry you will find out that uh, there are three types of production system. One is a job production system, second is a batch production system and third is the mass or continuous production system. I think this you have already studied in previous uh, years that what is the meaning of batch pro uh, this uh, job production, job or a specific production. It means uh, in this case what happening the uh, uh, any industry or company or uh, a person has to provide uh, the specific need of a person right in the second case when there is a batch system it means uh, a company has to produce their product in a batches and sometimes what happening if suppose if in future if they require to recall a previous batch it can be easily uh, called in the industry right so the, the production is done in the batches. So this type of programming automation is most suited for the batch production. And uh, for example, the NC controlled uh, machine tools, industrial robots, these are the examples of the programmable automations. The last one is, it is a flexible automation. See flexible automation, you can say it is a extension part of the programmable automation. Because the system has a flexibility and it has a flexible automated system which can accommodate design change of product. See, uh, in, in that case, if suppose if uh, any part uh, a automobile company is manufacturing and uh, in their part, if there is any need to change their design in the product, it can be easily done with the help of flexible automation system.
it is uh, one advantage is there uh, is uh, time lost for changeover from one product to the next so there is a no production time lost while reprogramming the system and allotting the physical setup of tooling fixtures machine settings since this is can be done with the help of the automation system uh, itself because uh, what happening what is the purpose of the flexible automation system flexible automation means suppose as i told you that if there is any need or requirement to change in the product right so either you have to replace your existing automation system and this will take a time also and as a very costly affair so if the system has the flexibility to change itself according to the changes in the design then this can be easily done means the operations can be easily uh, reoperated or you can say resequenced in the case of flexible of operation of automation system robot can be easily reprogrammed right so your atv it means automated guided vehicles can be reprogrammed their path can be regenerated and uh, uh, we have to find out the optimum solution for the production lines so therefore this is the advantage of the automations so you can say that the it has a basically the drawback also that uh, you can say the it has a medium production rate i will discuss later on what is the meaning of production rate but the uh, flexible automation system has a medium production rate and uh, the next is the flexibility for variety of production product design changeover so therefore for example in the cnc machine tools or reprogramming industrial robots uh, this can be easily done with the help of flexible automation system but the major drawback as i told you the production rate is a major so uh, as i told you that uh, in the fixed automation system where uh, this uh, system is uh, the sequence processing operation are fixed by the equipment configurations right so uh, let us just uh, go through once again these slides uh, that typical feature which is uh, suited for high production qualities high initial investment for custom engineers equipment high production rate relatively inflexible in accommodating a uh, product uh, variety so in the case of automated metal handling and transfer lines and assembly equipments this is a uh, uh, done quite easily similarly as i uh, this part we have already discussed programmable automations then fix flexible automations uh, reprogrammable industrial robots are the very good example of the uh, flexible automation systems now uh, if we just see that the graph between the product variety and the production quality so if we compare these three uh, automation system on the horizontal axis where we measure the production quality sorry product uh, production quantity you will find out in the case of fixed uh, automation system the production quantity is very large and uh, in the case of uh, this uh, production quantity the product variety it means there is a less flexibility in the system where uh, uh, you can say that the product variety cannot be achieved in this case because a similar kind of product can be uh, produced in the case of fixed automation system on the next side you will take the flexible automation system as i told you there is a very less or medium type of uh, product variety and uh, the production quantity is also comparable to the fixed automation is less but the advantage is when there is a, any changes in the product you can easily change your layout of the industry and you can reprogram the uh machines like uh, robots and uh, cnc machines uh, automated guided vehicles many whereas uh, in the case of uh, programmable automation you will find out it has a very high product variety means uh, you can produce uh, different types of uh, uh, you can say that product with the help of the programmable automation so this is another uh, advantage of the uh, product programmable automations but you can see here that the production quantity is very less as compared to the fixed automation and flexible automation but the variety is very high right so this is the uh, you can say the comparison between the fixed automation flexible automation and programmable automation 
see uh, if you have a idea of uh, that uh, your uh, job production batch production and mass production you can compare these three types of automation systems so these are the some references from which i have uh, taken some literature you can go through it and uh, find out the more information so thank you very much and if you have any doubt you just uh, write to me and uh, i will discuss with you these uh, queries in later on thank you very much